I came to the printed electronics area. Um, I've been looking for it for a while, and it's all the way in the back, but it's cool back here. And I'm here with Dana and Heather from Gerber Scientific Products, and they are kind enough to have humored me for the last couple of minutes to try to explain to me in the most layman of layman terms what exactly is printed electronics, who can get into the printed electronics business, and really it's a lot more simple than I understood to make a circuit via print. So I'm going to turn it over to Dana and, we'll, and Heather and we'll see what happens. Well, the reason that it's simple is because we're introducing and previewing a new way of creating printed electronics, which is using our thermal transfer printer, which is called the Gerber Edge FX. And typically, if you'd like to create printed electronics, you have to go through an entire screen print process, where you have to set up your screens, you have to go through all the traditional analog setup steps, and then you get to pull your screens. And in the case of creating prototypes, that can be a lot of upfront work just to create a couple of couple of simple prototypes. So what we're really focusing on with this Gerber Edge production system is a really simple, easy way to create uh, prototypes of uh, printed electronics, especially for membrane switches. So is it using silver ink? Uh, the ink is actually, it does have silver particles that are embedded in a thermal transfer resin foil. And this is... So that's like the screen? Uh, no, is this the is, actual this thing is actually printing? the silver that's printing. So Ooh, cool. what you see that's missing here is already on a piece of uh, five mil polyester that we previously printed. So this is the actual, uh, the, the negative of the result. So Heather is holding the, uh, the finished piece. Can I touch that? Sure. Touch it's that. actually quite durable. It has good abrasion resistance. And in, terms, in terms of the conductivity, for those of you who are interested in the, in the conductivity specification, it's about 0.3 ohms per square. Ohm. Ohm. So what will that power? Uh, well, it's actually, again, for membrane switches. Uh, this is, you know, used in a lot of uh, different types of um, industrial products, consumer products, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these types of switches are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. Uh, and again, so um, in, the, in the development process of the switch, you might want to try different concepts. You might want to try, uh, you might want to uh, uh, show the customer. You might want to get a membrane switch to a customer so they can show a prototype of their product very quickly. And again, with this system, you can reduce the time required to make uh, a prototype from from hours or days, or in some cases weeks, depending on how complicated it is, down to a matter of, in terms of the, the printed conductive component of it, down to a matter of minutes. So is somebody, are you, somebody printing the, the entire thing, including the, you guys are doing the thing, the whole, whatever this is, plus the blue, or you're just attaching your transfer you're right. sending your transfer to somebody to attach it. Uh, actually, Heather had a, a nice sample piece to sort of show some of the different layers. So there are several layers to a to a membrane switch. So this is called the, the graphic overlay. This is the graphic layer that has the buttons printed on it and things like that. And we can print uh, uh, we can print graphic overlays using our Gerber Edge because this so is also this a, all in one. This is also a graphics printer. Very cool. Then you have some spacer layers and things like that. We, we don't do the, the spacer layers, and this is uh, you know a 3M product or a Flexicon product or what have you. Um, and the spacer layers are cut using die cutters or laser cutters, especially for prototyping. So those would be sent to you to, or you send uh, your or parts the, to somebody the, else? Or the, the, the person, the company making the membrane switch likely has equipment already to do the laser cutting or the die cutting. And then this is this is called a contact layer, and this is one of the layers that we can print with the Gerber Edge production system. And then this is another spacer layer, and again that would be laser cut or die cut. Mm -hmm. And this is another uh, another layer that we can print. This is called a circuit layer, and uh, this sort of beige colored stuff is what we can print with our Gerber Edge production system. We're still investigating and studying whether or not we can uh, print a, an insulation layer or a dielectric layer. 
And then this is another spacer layer that would be laser cut or die cut. And then you might have a backer layer as well just to make it rigid. Very cool. So can we see one of these things in action? We sure can. Yes, absolutely. Oh wait, we've got to show we've got to show on printing too, That's right? What we'll do. Alright, do I need to just turn off the video? I'm gonna turn off the video and come back after we've set this up. Alright. Smile for the camera, Heather.